Hi everyone, happy Monday. I'm not sure if anybody's hearing this because there's always that like 10 second delay. Thanks for joining. Give everybody about a minute to join and then we get going. How are you guys? How's the weekend? I haven't got too many emails this weekend. I think um, I generally get a lot of emails, right? But um, I think like what's happening is the last couple of weeks of the summer and people are just enjoying themselves. Hi, Queen. They're out and about. Happy Monday. Happy Monday. Monday is actually my favorite day of the week. I, I know people hate Mondays, but I love Mondays. I'm like, Monday is when you set your week such that if you're extremely productive, you have to do less the following days. And I look forward to it. It's like a change from the weekend. And it's connecting with people. You know, if you go to work, you see your colleagues again. Or, you know, it's just like I always see it as an opportunity to um, start fresh. Mondays, you start fresh. Okay? So, um, I it's, it's all a matter of perspective, right? deciding oh you you hate Mondays and you know it's not gonna work out because you know it's gonna be a hard day or deciding it's a fresh start to do the week all over to do it differently thank you so much for the rose uh, what's congrats what happened here I'm so excited I'm going to study physics in uni I decided yesterday that's amazing Somebody says, it's my fourth day of doing the work, already feeling good. You know, I, I love when people do my 60-day challenge and I get a testimonial before day 10 telling me they're having massive realizations. They're having, you know, they're, they're, they're just feeling good inside. And I, I just love that. I love, you know, what, what greater gift is than the gift of feeling inside? And you all know that life manifests based on our feelings. Right? thoughts create feelings and feelings you know in the heart chakra is what really attracts that's how the law of attraction works this is not really a basics manifestation account so i'm assuming everybody who's on my live is already familiar um yeah it's already familiar with this concept queen says i had to block my ex as being inconsistent and non-committal this is the best course of action while you're working on yourself so queens let me just turn this off guys please don't call me during my lives i don't take calls um so I, I was saying if you're in a relationship that's hot and cold and you're trying to effectuate major changes inside of you such that you bring your manifestation forward you will not be able to do it while you're also processing the feelings of the relationship right a relationship is a reflection of the person that you were when you attracted that relationship and if you had three years of inconsistency or six months of inconsistency with this person that reality you've observed it for six months you've observed it for two years okay that reality is really stuck in place by your attention to it it is very difficult to deal with this reality while trying to effectuate an inner shift so i agree with this queen block them and come back to it or unblock them once you have made these changes but you should probably have no contact with people that give you hot and cold as you shift if you're brave and if you really trust the process, if you don't trust the process, it's not going to work, right? Because your lack of faith alone will make it ineffective. If you trust the process, you know for a fact your SP is going to come back. It's going to come back in a new version. What do you say to SP regarding reasons why you're leaving or it doesn't matter? This is a great question, right? You're telling him the truth. For once in your life, you're telling him the truth, which you should have said from the beginning of the relationship or at which each point of the relationship where he didn't meet your needs, right? Because if you're in a relationship and you know you need to go, it's because you've accepted. It's not because he made one mistake and that's it, you're out unless he cheated on you. But it's not because he made one mistake. It's because it's been months and months, years and years of things that you tolerated that you that went against the inner being that you are right so what you're saying regarding the reasons you are leaving you're saying look we need to have a conversation the point where i'm at this is what i need right so let's say you're a woman who requires commitment after a two-year relationship you're going to say i am in this to find i am in this to find a life partner 
if you're in this to find a life partner, let me know. But my expectation is that I'm ha I'm going to have children before the age of 32. Are you in or not? And, and, and if you're in, then what is the next step that you feel we need to take in this relationship? Oh, I, I don't know. I think we're going there, but you know, I'm not sure. Okay. I need you to think about this. And I'm going to think about this also. And then we're going to come together and let's come together. Let's not talk for three months. Then we're going to come together and see if you missed me, see if I missed you, see if we're at a different point or see if we moved on, right? You got to understand any outcome is okay as long as it's honest. And you have to be prepared to take any outcome and to be like, I will be married by 32 or I will have my baby, whether it's with him or someone better. I'm not sure but it's going to be with somebody that aligns with my inner being and my inner core. All right. Um, we got into the, we got into the material pretty quickly today, guys. Huh? Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see what's in here. I just want to do my little announcement. One minute announcement. If you guys don't know, this is a group that we manifest in a group. We uh, write on each other's energy, the energy of the group. We affirm for one another. We have weekly challenges on manifestations. And I think what's happening with this weekly challenge is we're getting too attached to the outcomes. The whole point of weekly challenges and random challenges is that you're not affected by the outcome on whether or not you manifested it. People ask me, what do I affirm to manifest? The doves, the turtle, the red shoes. What do I affirm? You don't affirm anything, right? It's like a group intention. We're going to manifest this, but you're not attached to the outcome on whether you're not, you're manifesting it. If you're attached to the outcome right now, you're doing extra work. I don't want you guys to do that. That's not the point of these. And, and so we had a, a harder one. And I think not enough people manifested the white doves because I set it up at the beginning. I was like, oh my God, this is going to be hard. Where is it? Where are we going to get the doves? But this is the beautiful thing of this process and doing it consistently and doing it in the group. We're getting to identify our limiting beliefs. So if I set the tone that it's going to be difficult, it was difficult, right? This week we're manifesting a joker. Doesn't matter. Like as long as it's not on your scrolling screen, right? If it's the word joker, if somebody tells you, calls you a joker, if you see a joker, if you, whatever it is, don't, don't think on it. It's going to be easy. Okay. I'm going to set a different expectation. It's going to be easy. It's going to be easy for you to manifest this joker and now put it out of your mind because it's not even there. It shouldn't even be there. Okay. So, um, that was the, um, challenge for this week. The Facebook group, we're having a lot of fun, lots of manifestation. If you guys are doing the challenge, please join the Facebook group for the two months that you're doing the challenge. If you want to stay or not afterwards, um, it doesn't matter. You can just cancel it. Um, but it's very, very inspiring to see people's manifestations and to see how people come to certain conclusions that will be pertinent to your own journey. And I'm going to talk about one that was posted today. If you guys don't know, I have some scammer accounts. I have to talk about this on every live. I don't message anyone. If you get a message from me or from an account that has my picture, my videos, they stole on my videos. There's nothing I can do about it. Um, it just do not respond and block them. I never contact anybody. If you need me, you have to contact me. Okay, this Wednesday is the second Wednesday of our fast. Ha 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 ha, it's gonna get more difficult. Who's in? Who's in for my fast, for my Wednesday fast? So last week we had a vegan fast and a meditation at the end of the day, which people found very powerful. And um, this week the fast is going to be liquids only. The theme of last week was release. The theme of this week is essence. So please, um, this is going to be my drinking schedule. In the morning, I'm gonna have my coffee. Uh, pure coffee with nothing in it, just black coffee. And then I'm going to have a juice like mid morning, like a naturally squeezed juice. Okay. Smoothies don't count. Don't have smoothies because that's just, you know, that's solids that you've just mashed together. And then at lunch, I'm going to have like a miso soup or two, depending how hungry I am. Then I'm going to have juice again. And then I'm going to have miso soup again because I love miso soup. Okay. If you're having soup, make sure it's not um, chicken noodle or something like that. So I want to know who's in with me at 8 p.m. again. We're going to do a meditation. And the idea is we're going to end. This is our second fast. And we have one last fast next Wednesday, which is water only. Can we have a plant-based protein shake? Yeah, if it's just, if it's just the um, powder and you add water, then yeah. 
Okay, so we have a few people in. Yes, I'm not gonna suffer alone. I've done the juicing fast for two days before and I was able to manage it. I'm more concerned about next Wednesday because we're just gonna do water only. But this Wednesday, it should be fun. I already told my fiance he's not allowed to um, eat food in front of me on Wednesday night. He should come home from work already eaten. <laughs> All right, um, let's see. So that was the fast. I generally on these lives, I talk about the material and then, you know, if the questions are pertinent, I take them. But if not at the end, I actually take your questions. So let me see if there's anything that I talk about. Is there any questions about the fast? Um, the meditation that we're going to do, I'm going to post on YouTube tomorrow, uh, not on YouTube, on uh, Facebook, on the Facebook group, similar, similar to how we did last week. Last week was very successful. Um, let's see, give me one second here just to make sure, okay, mm -hmm. that I haven't missed anybody, could you make it rain tomorrow in the Netherlands, um, I probably could, but I'm not going to focus my energy there, okay, the Facebook page, the 60 day challenge, if you're interested in joining us, Queen, they're available for a nominal fee, and they're in my bio, can you post on YouTube as well? No, it's just for my group. The meditation is just for the group that's affirming for one another. All my lives are posted on YouTube. I have tons of free material on, on the TikTok, but you need to make a commitment to do the challenge and affirm for one another in order to participate in our group meditation. I feel like I made it rain here three times last month, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Why shouldn't you? Um, you know, th the thing is, when you try to do all this um, parlor tricks, um, it will it will require a lot of your energy. This is why when you're manifesting the SP with a spell and whisper method and whatever it is, and it works, and he leaves you over and over, is because you can't sustain that focused attention on the spell, on the energetic, right? So unless you shift something from the inside. You, you can still manifest, but nothing will be sustainable. So I don't, I don't teach that. I don't, I don't suggest you do that. I heard people manifested some awful things with uh, the honey method and the whisper method, like some obsessions and things like this that then they had to deal with and other people. All right. So let's see. Somebody, um, I think it was Irina, I think it was you because I just checked. So first of all, I want to tell you guys that my battery was at 20% for some reason. I don't know. I always charge my phone. So if we drop, if we can't go the whole hour, um, I don't I don't have a charger in the car. So I'm sorry. I, I hope it will last. It should probably last. And then um, I, I think it was Irina who tagged me in a video from a creator who I know, Sam. Her name is Sam. I can't remember. Like the second part of her name but her name is Sam she has like millions of followers and she basically was talking about this concept in quantum physics that nothing is real unless you observe it right this is based on the quantum physics the double slit experiment which was performed over a hundred years ago um, if you guys don't know what it is everybody who's in this work should know what it is there's a five to ten minute video on YouTube about it there's many videos that explain it it's called a double slit slit experiment if you guys haven't seen it you have to see it it's an experiment with a light rays where based on the observers expectations of how that light is going to hit a screen it will either hit it as a particle or as a wave but it's proven that it's based on the observer's expectation and when it's not observed it behaves one way and when it's observed it be behaves one way or the other way depending on the observer's expectation. It's pretty fascinating right that's the whole basis of quantum physics started with that experiment and um, and um, in in this video this creator gave the example that you know when you select a song thank you so much when you select a song from a playlist right you only have access to that song and all the other songs in a sense don't exist they don't exist as part of your experience and you know she, she's all right and and everything is intellectually makes sense but the problem is somebody taught us you know when we we're kids or when we we're adults how to change the song on the playlist but nobody's teaching us in real life how to redirect our focus towards only what we want to observe. In fact, the world is doing the opposite. It's as if 
the world is showing you every day, everywhere you go, people talk or you see images of things that you don't want to observe in your reality, right? Economy going down, the wars, the stock prices are in, in the gutter, like everything that's not working, the presidents, the, you know, like politics, crime, violence, that's what they're bombarding you with, right? And nobody's teaching you how to select the reality that you actually want. Has anybody ever taught you? In fact, schooling system is telling you, you gotta be aware of everything. You gotta be aware of all this bad in the world, right? That's like this woman who's done the video on the song selection, you know? It's just like if you walk into a room and you're trying to play a song, whatever song you like, but out of every sound system in that room, and there's a million of them, there's a different song playing. That's sort of how our life is. That's sort of how our life is, right? So it's not as easy to say that, oh, you know, your reality that you get is the reality that you want to observe and it's like a song. You have a playlist of songs, there's all these realities, there's a reality when you're loved, the reality where you're not loved, the reality where you reject, no, no, no. It's like all the negatives are being played. You don't, you don't know how to walk into a blank room and select the reality you want. This is why we're doing the world, the work, right? Together. <laughs> we're doing the work to get this, this work should have been taught to you when you're three years old, should have been taught to me when I was three years old, but nobody taught us. Whoever figured it out kind of got some results along the way. They're like, oh, you know, I'm thinking like I thought this and I manifested this and maybe this, maybe I can repro reproduce these results. But most people are distracted enough that they don't know how to associate their thoughts with their results. And so, you know, it's not, it's not really as simple as, as the song, but thank you. Thank you for the tag. You know, I just, I just wanted you guys to understand that when you see these videos and it, it seems so easy, you know, and you're like, yeah, I get it. But then you put the phone down and you're like, but how do I, how do I change the frequency? How do I? By the way, guys, you should be meditating every day, ideally. Okay, if you can't, there, there's a joke, right? A guy who works on Wall Street, he goes to see a guru and he says to the guru, guru, how long should I be meditating every day? The guru says, you should be meditating for one hour every day. He says, one hour? I work on Wall Street. I don't have one hour every day. I have my family, I have my work. I'm like, I, I can't meditate for an hour. And guru says to him, yeah? I see. I understand. In that case, you need to meditate for three hours. Yeah. You need to meditate every day. You need to find a way. You need, you need to prioritize you and your well-being and find a way to meditate. I wish I could tell you it's like 10 minutes every day. You need to meditate for one hour every day. And at first, it's going to be difficult, right? And, you know, I was in meditation. And I've been meditating for years. Not, not as consistently as I did in the last year and a half. But um, intrusive thoughts are your own... So that was my battery. Sorry about that. So intrusive thoughts are normal. And they are your ego's fight for survival. So now what I do when I have intrusive thoughts and I do this more advanced meditations and I try to keep myself in a place where there's no thoughts, there's no objects, there's no, like I'm not visualizing when I'm meditating. I just try to keep myself in one spot, my consciousness, my awareness. When I do that, something occasionally pops in my mind and I'm like, no, no, just no. I'm not, This you're not, you're not, you're not coming right now or if you're coming you need to leave because I'm in control who who is me me the person who's thinking the thoughts get it the thought is not real or is not in charge the thought is not me I am the thinker of the thought and this is how I can tell the thought to go away there's a guy cutting the grass like right here the park where I'm parked so if you guys hear him he may be doing it on purpose because he's been circling. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I can manifest in my way. Okay, I wanna I wanna get a little bit into the material just in case my battery is dying, and I I can't go for the full hour today. I can't believe I didn't charge my phone. This is very strange. I always do. 
so what I do is I get a lot of emails and you know it, the ones I can't address I can't address everybody right so um, if they are pertinent to the group I take them up during this lives and sorry I organized myself on this other phone so somebody posted on the Facebook group a good story today that I want to get to okay so her story is she started this work she's part of this group her relationship is you know she needs a lot of work her her boyfriend is away right now or he's working somewhere and the plan was for her to move there as well but she can't right now and she was their relationship is very rocky as she's doing this work on herself she wanted to buy a plane ticket to go see him the her credit was let's say a thousand euros and the ticket cost 950 euros and as she was about to book the ticket she only has this thousand dollars right as she was about to book the ticket her laptop died and she went to replace the laptop the laptop cost 970 euros or something like that so her full credit was taken by her laptop breaking down and then she says the conclusion I got from all this the universe didn't want me to go to my boyfriend it found a way for me to use my emergency funds so that I wouldn't have the money to go to my boyfriend but not more than what I actually had because we always get what we need so the computer wasn't 1100 euros right like it was just under the credit to take up all that credit it is not a wow manifestation story but I think it's me manifesting the best path for me I would say Queen it is a wow manifestation story, okay? Because everything that happens that makes something click in your mind about the way the universe responds to you is a wow manifestation story and it's a huge success story, right? Because it's a story that shifts your paradigm. You didn't say this damn computer, you know, now how am I gonna manifest a thousand dollars to go see my, no, you paused and you said to yourself, you know, why is this happening? As I'm doing this work to myself, on myself, I'm expecting the universe will guide me towards inspired action. Why is this happening, right? You always pause and you're like, hmm. When something good happens, when something bad happens, you need to have a hmm moment if you're doing this work on yourself and be like, why? Oh, I see, I am, I'm understanding something. I'm understanding something. Okay, I'm gonna let it go. Queen, you're welcome. And here's the thing you thank you for listening to the universe thank you for prioritizing yourself and and sort of what you need to do is understand that as you work on yourself and you change it doesn't mean you're losing your relationship it means your relationship will come back stronger with him or someone but better when you stop this 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 work on a relationship that's not that's not working out it's based on the person that you used to be get it you need to let that one go for now for now and something better may come i did it right i'm not i'm not speaking theoretically i did the same exact thing okay didn't talk to him for four months right just just let it go just like you know what i told another queen i'm like i was happy you know to know that he went on dates because like <laughs> he's not into okay without me he's not you know what i mean like if when you see yourself as the best thing he's ever had like let him go date <laughs> let's see what happens anyway Okay, where was I? That was one that I wanted to take up. And then um, somebody says on my YouTube, since I'm in the challenge, I cannot stand main mainstream radio pop music anymore. I used to hear it at work, but now I just realize how random and chaotic the mind and feelings get repeating those lyrics. Is just no more me and other lyrics. And I start to see the love in people that I thought was hard to get along. But now, is like I don't waste time in but okay so this is a real thing the music the pop music will create a loop in your mind and I do believe it's purposeful that if you ever listen to one of this new songs or popular songs you know how hard it is to get a lyric that means nothing it's not even like a beautiful song but you can't get it stuck in your head it's meant to create distraction and this is what I wanted to highlight like when I drive, I listen to a podcast or I listen to nothing. I no longer listen to music, right? If I listen to music, it's like lo lo-fi sounds or chill, chill beats, jazz, something like this. I don't want anything repetitive stuck in my mind. I don't want that. I don't know how they do that, but you know? All right. I want to see what else I'm going to read because I want to get to a few things before my 
battery dies. Okay, so Queen wrote to me, she had a few questions for me, but I told her some of them are pertinent to the group. So one of her questions was, I have been asking every day to the universe to acknowledge me by showing me the number, a certain number, um, and I have never seen it. What am I doing wrong? You're not doing anything wrong. The way you ask for your three digit code, watch my video that's been in my profile. If you want to learn how to ask a yes or no question to the universe with your three digit code. And um, you're not doing anything wrong. For some people, they get it in the first week. Some people, it takes a long time, but everybody gets it in the end. You have to insist every day and do it in the morning. You need to show me this code. You need to acknowledge my existence. I am awareness, I exist. You need to acknowledge me. I will not be unheard. This is not going to be another day where I'm unheard. And you do this every day until you get it. And we have people be like, oh my God, after three weeks of doing this, I managed to do it. After four weeks of doing, like if you go through the Facebook group, there's people who love those testimonials. Do not give up. It has to bend. It has to acknowledge you. Right now, you may be further from the source from from being able to connect with formless substance and again it's all the distractions in 3d it's all like you know this queen was saying maybe there is a song stuck in your head maybe there is an image about 3d stuck in your head everything in 3d in our society is created to prevent you from connecting thank you guys don't waste your money on this stuff but it's cute thank you then she says another question i put in the money manifestation of the sheet work i want to earn or i earn forty thousand dollars per month um, but in all your videos, you say the universe doesn't understand digits. So should I change it? Here's my view on digits and the universe. Okay. You must know what a certain amount of money feels like in order for it to come to pass. I really, really believe this, right? It doesn't understand zeros and ones. Money is a human made concept. It's not a natural occurrence. And unless you can associate, like I have manifested $50,000 when I asked for $50,000 and I have it in my videos, but I knew what a check for $50,000 feels like, right? And I also like didn't really think it was such a big deal. So if you don't know what $40,000 a month feels like, you need to live life in your head spending those $40,000 a month. That's how I really believe the universe responds to money requests, right? Watch my playlist, Manifest Money, and there's more in there to this concept. So when I say, because one of my manifestation is this million dollars that I'm talking about, like I already spent it, like I already know exactly. It's not, it's not going to be like some fall off the chair. Wow moment. This is why I don't do it with 50 million and 250 million and all this, because I can't, I can't imagine this feeling and I don't want that amount to become obsessive, but the million is not, I'm not going to fall off my chair when it happens. It's not just something impossible or ridiculous. It's just, you know. I already know how I'm going to allocate it. It's not, you know, it's not a big deal. Okay, that was that. And then let's see. She has a final question. For the career manifestation, I feel like it's the same as the money one. So I put going viral every week on TikTok because I associate it with a lot of leads, but I don't feel it serves others. I feel it's more of a validation type desire. So should I change it? Guys, your career, career and people, I group the career and people. This is different than your money manifestation. There's a lot of people who manifest money that doesn't come out of their career. It's good to disassociate money from career because when you do that, you open more avenues for money to come to you. Okay, so your career and your career and the people and the interaction, you should look to feel fulfilled. So Queen, if what fulfills you is this going viral on TikTok and having like, you know, thousands of people reach out to you and talk to you about your video and that's fulfillment for you, then go ahead and do that. If that's just the price and the cross you have to carry and it's really annoying in order to make $40,000 a month, then you shouldn't be, you shouldn't be associating it. Do you see what I mean? In your career with the people that surround you, you should look for fulfillment. Your money thing should be separate. That's for everybody. That's why I separated it. Somebody says, how much do we have to um, affirm and visualize a desire? As much as it takes you to convince yourself of the truth of that desire already being um, something that a person like you can achieve. Right? Like I said with the $50,000, I didn't think it was a big deal to get a check for $50,000. So this is why we start small. And then when we have each small success story, we celebrate it. It doesn't matter how small it is. If you wanted to manifest a turtle and you manifested a turtle the same day, 
that's very validating on your ability to manifest. Do not affirm it until it becomes obsessive. That's not that's not a good way. And you know, that's more like spell work. And when it comes, it's not gonna be sustainable. Um let's see. I have the feeling like a few million is not a lot of money. Is it a bad idea while manifesting it? I, I don't know. I don't know how convinced you are in that feeling. Most people, um, unless you grew up with, with, you know, parents who did have a million dollar in the bank, I would say for most people, the idea that they would have $2 million in the bank is a lot of money. So, you know, like you can tell yourself you don't think it's a lot of money, but I don't think that's the case for most people. Um, okay, I want to talk about this. This is also pertinent and important to this point. Somebody put in a Facebook group. She says, um, during a meditation, I noticed one of my limiting beliefs when it comes to wealth and money. While I was visualizing for myself the luxurious house, which I want, the car and everything else, I kept feeling guilty and having thoughts about my brother and his family, who is extremely dear to me. And, but he's not on that level. It made me concerned about him in 3d. Um, he, I helped him and he didn't handle money properly. I'm paraphrasing now because it's a longer message. Uh, to start a business, he didn't. And, and then she says, I re can you give me some advice on how to overcome this limiting belief, which would make me feel guilty if I accomplish something that's more than my brother. I realize this sounds ridiculous, but it is subconscious. Guys, it's not ridiculous, okay? A lot of people can't manifest large sums of money because they have a limiting belief about how money is evil and will destroy their families. You guys know that if you come from a regular family, you have achievers in the family and people who are not so achievers and you love them all the same or you love them, you, you know you couldn't leave them, right? So if you win $50 million, what's going to happen? How's that gonna impact the people? If if I have you know, a brother and a sister and I give my brother a million and my sister a million and he mishandles it, right? He goes and parties in Vegas and gambles or whatever, he goes through the money, but my sister buys real estate and works with tenants and does all these things. And then at the end of two years, she has $3 million from my million and he has zero. Now I still have $45 million, right? What's going to happen? How is that going to affect our family dinners? How is going to? How is that going to? How is it? So this belief, you might not even understand that you have it, but it's preventing you from manifesting large sums of money, right? How are people that you love going to handle money? How are your children going to think about? Maybe you have teenagers. Maybe they're going to think, I don't have to do anything. My mom's rich now. I don't have to do anything except blow money, and you know that's going to destroy them. And you know, you, do, do you know what I mean? So check yourself for this belief. Oh my God, this guy, he got on his lawnmower. He works for the city and he's just circulating in here. It's like whew, serenity now. All right. I hope you guys can't, can hear it. So I want you guys to check yourself for this limiting belief of if you run into a large sum of money, how is that going to impact your family relationships? And then let me see if I had anything else. Oh yeah, this is a good manifestation story from earlier this week on um, on the Facebook group. She says, I wanna share a little something incredible that happened to me yesterday. I'm on day 48 of the 60 day challenge. Incredible things have happened to me lately. My focus is on relationships and I have changed my beliefs about men quite significantly. Yesterday, I went to a little meetup with my business group I have never been to. I go in and meet the leading guy in my industry. I spent years learning from him online and this person is the reason why I've built my business. I could not believe it. It was six of us and a few of these men, multimillionaires, leaders in their industry, and I got to spend the evening with them. I have been affirming that I meet abundant men, that men give to me, etc. This guy's everything you write down and say will come true. I had some random entries in the 60 day challenge that are not now coming through. I wanted to be mentioned in big publications and here I am getting mentioned in big publications with absolutely no action on my part. They just found me. I I love this story, okay? Because I had people who have put specific words in the 60-day challenge that other people repeated to them, right? Like I'm hypnotic and enticing and somebody said that back to her. Um, we're not saying MP, we're saying SP, a specific person. Um, <laughs> But this queen, okay, if you focus just on the end results, okay, just on 
do not look at statistics you know like somebody said to me oh you know i i want a high income earner but only like two percent of men earn over two hundred thousand dollars a year or something like this i said don't look at statistics don't don't look at statistics you know you just affirm that you meet abundant men providers by the, by the way abundant men is not enough right because you can meet abundant men who are cheap or who don't want to spend money or who want just want to you know you to prove them yourself to them um you you meet protectors and providers and prioritizers you know can we see the hair up no i'm not a circus animal i don't perform for you um what does the symbols in your username mean the circle is for the group and the group power that's why it's red the infinity it means the amount of power what do you do when a limiting belief keeps coming back you keep saying no to it you keep saying no to it i want to take some questions because i know my battery is gonna die it's like 12 40. why do people with strong self-concept do not get their sp we talked about this before um it's not enough to have a strong self-concept. It's how you think about the world. Like I had a strong self-concept. I always saw myself as a highly valuable woman. I've always gotten treated like a princess, but my view on, if you guys don't know, I just recently got engaged. That's why I'm mentioning this, my group knows. And it's our second time around for my fiance and I. When I was dating, I, I always had the feeling that, you know, um, men who are on the second time around, will treat me like a princess because they want to you know retain me or but um they would not commit to a second marriage so this was my limiting belief so the self-concept of me being highly valuable was not sufficient right it's not until i change my concept about the world in general the way the world works and i told you queens and some queens are starting this work and are doing this work and they're like no marriage is good for men men want to get married it provides them more value in life to be married and and all of this you have to change your mind about the way you see the opposite sex right so it's not enough that your self-concept is strong how are men in general or if you're a man how are women in general right are are women just going to use you and move on when you no longer have resources your self-protection mechanism kicks in and then it's saying okay so it's not good for me to commit or what have you why do we send back manifestations that weren't intended can i what what specifically do you mean by this um we i send them back because i want to give the universe um a clear message that it hasn't yet fulfilled the manifestation if i accept the manifestation if i say you know i want my sp to marry me right and then i get a text from him uh what you doing that's not the same thing if i accept that um then how am i going to know that it's not the universe responding to what i intended with feeling towards my sp which means me being married to him or you know in my story about the million dollars i found a million dollar bill on the street the universe said i fulfilled your million dollar request and i took it and i put it in my pocket and i put it in my vision board wow i manifested a million dollars this is so funny the universe is like i'm done my job can you talk about the fear of being seen yeah this is a real fear i've had it as well for a long time um i can't say i totally don't have it anymore when you're seen there <sighs> The way you behave is under current scrutiny, right? If you look at celebrities or politicians or or whoever, right, is is seen, you know.